So, I got a real shocker for you today. Kamala Harris has no policy. In America, looking like the death of America. We're gonna get into that video, we're gonna get into that video. But first, but first, I need you to detonate that subscribe button. I'm talking about detonate that subscribe button. Subscribe to me, the Marine Rapper. I do military politics news and music reactions every single day. So you wanna keep it locked, you wanna keep it locked cause this is the spot. So let's check out this video. Supposedly Kamala Harris has no policy, but we'll see. Let me shrink myself down while I'm hitting this play button. Just hit that subscribe button. All right, now let's check out this video. Day one of debate camp for Kamala. And the camp counselors are tormenting her. For the last five days and nights, Harris will be locked. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is hilarious. Look at Jesse Waters. He actually has a graphic up there of Kamala Harris in a tent. That's funny to me. That's hilarious. You guys are hilarious. And supposedly Kamala Harris is in some type of, some sort of debate camp. Who's the camp counselor? 10 walls, put in you know what and you know where. <sighs> Locked down in a cabin in Pittsburgh. Insiders say her prep will be akin to Biden's week long session at Camp David. Full out mock debates, but they'll start earlier than Biden's and there will be fewer naps. She'll have no breaks. Harris has to hold it. Whoa, back whoa, whoa, to back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Jesse Waters, you are wilding. You say, hold up, let me go back. It said, no breaks and fewer naps. It says, uh, from notice, it says, akin to Biden's week-long session at Camp David back in June, the focus will be on full-out mock debates, one person said, but they'll start earlier than Biden's with fewer naps. Y'all are wild. Wow. Fewer naps. She'll have no breaks. Harris has to hold it. Back-to-back 90-minute -back mock sessions with no interruption. The Clintons are telling her what to say. Watch. My hero, my pal, um, my former boss, Bill Clinton, had it right at the convention. Don't count the lies, count the eyes. Mm -hmm. The back half of Kamala's answer to you is right. Yes, he's a fighter, but he fights for himself. It should be one of the through lines in this debate for Kamala Harris is I'm for the people, Trump's for himself. Yeah, she's for the people, just not the American people. Wow, Jesse. Jesse, you wildin'. She's for the people, just not the American people. Ain't that the truth? It seems like she just keeps on flip-flopping and switching over to whatever, whatever needs to be said to get up in there. I hope you, I hope you folks that are watching this ain't falling for the okie doke, for real. That rope a dope. Wow. Yes, he's a fighter, but he fights for himself. No, no, no. Yes, she fights for the people, but she's only doing it because she won't fight for the people after she gets in. Is that what we're doing? Is that? <laughs> they're even assigning Harris homework, but they're already running into problems. Kamala keeps wanting to talk through all of the policies with her handlers and her handlers are saying, no, Kamala, here's the briefing binder. You study it, then we'll do the mock debate. We're not gonna spend hours telling you what your policies are. You're gonna have to read the binder. We're hearing that Harris has been pouring over briefing binders for two months because she's just learning for the first time what her policies are. And now insiders say she's careening sideways. Kamala has been derailing her prep by focusing too narrowly on minute details, according to two people behind the scenes. Kamala is having a hard time learning what happened the last four years. So it's crazy because you have Kamala Harris, Tim Walls ticket, who has done one interview, and then you have Donald Trump, J.D. Vance, who have done about 34 interviews. They're gonna do more. Trump and Vance don't have to, they don't have to prepare because all they have been doing is talking and interviewing and getting grilled. Kamala has to do all this prep. They don't gotta do no preps. They just gonna say the facts. That's it. This is crazy. And this debate's not going to be about her favorite topics like electric school buses in outer space. She's like the girl who skipped class all semester and then pulls. 
electric school buses in outer space. Remember the magic school bus? Hey, any of y'all remember that magic school bus like cartoon that was on like, I think PBS? Electric school buses in space. <laughs> you crazy, Jesse. It was an all nighter before the final. Democrats already lowering expectations. After ABC confirmed the mics will be muted, the Harris campaign's whining. I think what's really challenging and unfortunate about this debate format is that it, it limits the vice president's ability to prosecute the political case against President Trump. She's complaining that she's at a disadvantage because Trump won't be able to interrupt her. Remember what she pulled with Pence? Joe Biden has been very clear. He will not raise taxes on anybody who makes less than $400,000 a year. He said he's going to repeal the Trump tax cuts. Uh, Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. <laughs> I'm speaking. Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. I have to I'm speaking. Yes. Mr. Sure. Vice President, I'm Please. speaking. Please. I'm speaking. Okay. <laughs> okay. See, the thing is, is if the, the interruption possibility is there, it makes Trump look like he's trying to over talk her and then she can use it as a tactic, a selling point later when she goes out and talks to people out in different communities and say, see, he doesn't let women talk. I'm empowering women. I'm empowering women, but he's not empowering women. Like that's what. Nah, we ain't going with that. Kamala wants to snap her fingers and say, "Excuse me, don't you dare speak to me like that. I don't care who you are." Uh huh. Kamala wants to be a Karen, but the muted mics that her old man Biden agreed to won't let her. It's like Joe's still sabotaging the Democrats from the grave, but the muted mics was just one of Kamala's demands. Her handlers have been trying to micromanage next Tuesday night like helicopter parents at a play date. Did they ask for notes? Did they ask for the... They wanted notes. They wanted to be seated and they wanted your mic hot. And they wanted a desk. They didn't want to do... I said, you got to do a stand After up. After they already agreed to the other. Yeah, but they wanted a desk from the beginning. You know who else wanted a desk? Sleepy Joe, he wanted a desk. <laughs> Sleepy Joe wanted a desk. But like the thing is with uh, Joe Biden, with Joe Biden wanting a desk, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't, I don't, I actually don't think anything's wrong with it because if you're 80, yeah, I want to sit down. I'm old. I want to sit down. He 80. He, of course, he's going to want to sit down. 80 years old. 80. But you have Trump here who's about to be 80. And he's like, yeah, we could stand up against somebody who's what? I think she's like 50 something. So 50 versus 80. Come on now. Come on now. Ridiculous. Last night would have been the Fox debate, but Kamala chickened out. She's only committing to one debate. The first potential female president will only do one debate. Even the Clintons are saying, you got to be kidding me. Ready? One interview, one debate. Some rah-rah stump speech you read over and over, and voila, you have a 50% chance of being president. Good gig if you can get it. No three debates, no two years of primaries, coalition building, no detailed policy development, and no daily press briefings or tasks of leadership. It's only the most important job in the world with a $6 trillion budget and thousands of nuclear weapons. The right thing would be three debates, real detailed policy briefings, and full availability to answer questions so the electorate could vote on an informed basis. That's what real democracy demands. And even BLM didn't even agree with this whole situation. They're like, yo, this is whack. Like, we don't get no democracy here. Like, we didn't even really pick her. Like, what's going on? It feel like she got placed up in there and then she don't debate, she don't do nothing. So say, oh, I wanna be the first female president and I want, you know, I want equality and all of that type of stuff, but you aren't equal to the individual who was doing the 34 interviews, who said he wanted to do more than one debate. So what? when does the equal thing come in? Chat, you let me know, chat. When does the equal thing come in, chat? But Kamala's not the only one complaining. Trump's playing the expectation game too and working the refs. They are the most dishonest network, the meanest, the nastiest, but that was what I was presented with. I was presented with ABC, George Slopidopoulos. You know who he is. 
And he's a nasty guy. And yet, he's a nasty guy. I've had him up to here. But, but let me tell you, let me tell you, he's a very, very bad kind of a guy. And I think a lot of people are going to be watching to see how nasty they are, how unfair they are. I agreed to do it because they wouldn't do any other network. She, she only, the other thing is, her best friend is the head of the network. Her husband's best friend is married to the head of the network. And they're going to get the questions. I've already heard they're going to get the questions in advance. If the moderators and the media won't ask Harris the hard questions. That's messed up. I know you have to make connections, but like making the connections to where it's like all corrupted and all all fake and stuff. Hey, I guess that's politics. That's messed. Chat, what do you think about those relationships? I feel like it should be on a neutral basis with multiple people from different news outlets asking those questions. What do you think, chat? Trump has to do it himself. She's going to come in with rehearsed punchlines. No, you didn't. But Trump can derail the whole production by turning to her directly and saying, Jesse, I, hey, listen, we, we, we get on uh, Kamala Harris for the code switching and the little accents and stuff like that. But Jesse Waters went, no, you didn't. <laughs> Jesse, you crazy, bro. The moderators in the media won't ask you this question, so I will. What exactly do you disagree with about Joe Biden's economic policy? Or I handed you inflation at 1.9% and it went to 9%. What happened there? Or Kamala, you say you want to do all these things. Well, you're in power now. Why haven't you done any of them? Or why, why is that hard to, for people to understand? She's in there right now. She's in there right now. And obviously Joe Biden isn't even in it. He's, he's out of it. He's just there. He's like a placeholder. So you got a placeholder there. They need somebody to lead, but you won't lead. Or Madam Vice President, you said you'd tell us if Joe Biden was declining. Why didn't you keep your word? Or Ms. Harris, you were for this. Now you're for that. Why should the American people trust anything you say? It's a one two punch because it embarrasses the moderators for not doing their jobs. And it puts Harris back on her heels. He has to define her because no one else will. And this debate could be the only opportunity he has because she's only committed to this one. There's two risks to Trump next Tuesday. One is Kamala chews up time with her slow, syrupy delivery, eating up the clock with vague platitudes, values, vibes, blah, blah, blah. A couple of heads. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> You crazy, man. Yo, he keeps on talking. Yo, yo, it, I think he's thought about this, chat. Chat, what do you, you guys, you guys think Jesse has thought about this? Syrupy, slow, vague. I love it. it. Turns and some eye rolls and she can escape scrutiny. So Trump has to pin her down on specifics without being disrespectful. And that's his second risk. He could be sharp with Hillary because she projected toughness and was hated for years. Kamala is unknown and more feminine. So Trump can be aggressive, not argumentative. Trust me, debating with a woman, and I do it all the time on The Five with Jessica, is an art <laughs> that I have yet to perfect. If Trump performs well, race is over. But if Kamala holds her own or has a few moments, she's back in the driver's seat and will avoid another debate. As of now, she's lost her momentum because the manufactured enthusiasm evaporated once voters evaluated her without the pomp and pageantry. The more voters see Kamala, the less they like. The campaign spending more time bussing people into her rallies than telling us what she actually believes in. Wow, look at that chat, look at this. What's this chat? Looks like buses and buses and buses and buses. Buses on buses, those yellow school buses that she likes. Yellow tour buses that she likes. Those electric vehicle space buses that she likes. Look at this, yellow, yellow, yellow. And what do they call somebody who's yellow? Yellow actually means something. Yellow means scurred. Yellow means scurred, chat. It means scurred. If you say somebody's yellow, yellow, they're scurred. And spending more time bussing people into her rallies than telling us what she actually believes in. This was in New Hampshire just yesterday. 
a state, by the way, that hasn't gone red in 24 years. Kamala was there for some reason. She's so unpopular that she had to bust people in. She peaked, and now her support's fading. Democrat numbers guru Nate Silver every day puts out an election forecast. And for a week straight, Trump's odds of winning have gone up. Yo, why does that chart look like a chromosomes? Yo, yo, chat, why does that look like a chromosomes? Don't it look like a, a, a double uh, Felix or something? To me, it looks like a double Felix. He now has a 60% chance of winning this election. And this is a synthesis of all the polls. See this trend? Besides her race, age, and gender, she hasn't explained why she's that different than Biden. Let's not pretend like we don't know what her plans will be if she's elected. We do. We lived it. It's scary. Listening to her talk about her tax policy, I mean, she's like, see, Joe Biden's tax policy is only going to kill you as much as, you know, Jason Voorhees. But I'm more like Mike Myers. See, isn't that better? <laughs> no, it's not better. They're both scary as hell. And either way, you're going to be dead. Kamala's not looking out for you. She's just focused on getting the job, not doing the job. Wow. If Kamala could do the job, she would have done it on the border and on the economy. Wow. Trump already knows how to do the job. He did it for how long? For four straight years, I fought for American workers like I would fight for my own family. I took care of our economy like I would take care of my own company. In every decision, I asked, will I create jobs here or will I be sending jobs overseas? Will it make America richer and stronger or will it make our country weaker and poorer? Mm. I always put America first every single time. Democrats love to talk about lived experiences. Well, we've lived through both Trump and Harris. Don't overthink it. That's crazy. Like this image right here. Choose your fighter. Choose your fighter. This is what Kamala look like. Anyways, I need to grow up. I need to grow up. For real. For real, for real, for real. La, 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 la. Yo. No policy. No direction. No progress. That's what we're getting. Chat, you let me know. You let me know. But until next time, I will... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. If you have not, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you detonate that subscribe button like... Detonate the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next reaction. Out.